Sean Wells. What an incredible career you've had. If I could just take you back, Gilligan's Island is still showing worldwide in over 30 languages, about to celebrate 55 years. You've enjoyed playing unapologetically the good girl. Well, I think, Marianne, you would confide in me, you would talk to me, you would trust me, and, that, and that's kind of who I am, really. So I don't think you can play a character over and over and over and over again. Gilligan's Island was three or four years. The essence of you comes through and on film, and, and I think that that's who I was, and I, you, you can't fight it. It made me a living, and I am that kind of person. I'm a kind, good, kind person. I'd like to play a bitch, but nobody will cast me, and I'd like to play somebody that nobody liked, but, I, but you don't physically look like that, so it's difficult sometimes. You're, ca- you're typecasting. <laughs> do you have anything to do with Tina Louise these days? No, she really didn't want to be a part of us. Tina was a little um, self-absorbed, but I think she was the movie star. <laughs> And she really was the movie star. Where's my angle? How do I look? That's what she was, and that's what she was personally. It, it, it was too sad because we were really a good cast, and we all loved each other a lot. And I think Ginger really felt that she was more than that show, and she was wonderful. She was beautiful. She was great in the character. But I don't think she embraced us like we embraced ourselves. You were selected as Miss Nevada and were in the Miss America 1960 pageant because you were just so gorgeous. You looked amazing. You still look amazing being at 81 years old. I, d- I don't have children. I don't, I don't have anybody that I'm bossing around. I don't have anybody <laughs> I'm worried about as far as that. And I think if you look at life through the glasses of here we are, I, I, I mean, I, I'm grateful. I, I'm still working. I still do what I love to do, and I think that happiness in your core shows. I didn't, even as a young girl, exercise a lot or work out a lot because of my, my knees dislocating. So I, I think that, that I think it has a lot to do with your core of who you are. I read somewhere that uh, you wanted to be a ballerina foremost, and then you wanted to be a chemist, and if you had to do it all over again, you'd go into genetic medicine. I was a dancer, but after three or four years of it, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do any PE. My, my, my kneecap would go out of joint, and I'd have to kick it back in place. I couldn't play any sports, you know. I mean, I would love to have been able to run and all of that, but I couldn't. But I watch what I eat. I, I, I walk a lot. I, I'm very uh, conscious of my being and my health, but I'm not athletic. So how come the acting? I was very smart. I got good grades, and... And, and I was doing what I loved, and I didn't really know. I didn't say, oh, I'm going to be an actress, Daddy, that kind of thing. But I, I did a lot of plays in college, and when I got ready to, to graduate, I was cast in a couple of things, and I realized uh, I really like this, and I just kind of hung on to it. You've been in over 150 TV shows and seven motion pictures. You've uh, starred in more than 60 theatrical productions from Noel Coward to Neil Simon. Would you have really liked to play a villain? Oh, yes, I would. But you wouldn't cast me. So you have to kind of, you know, if you're, if you're a soprano, you're a soprano. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to kind of go with what you do and what you do. I would love to, to come in and absolutely play a bitch, pardon the expression. Everyone always wants what they haven't got. Did you ever imagine it would have such longevity, that show? Oh, no. The critics hated us. Thought it was the stupidest thing ever. We're in 30 languages all over the world. It's amazing to me. But that was that generation. And you couldn't, you couldn't be mean and you couldn't swear. So we were part of your family. Do you think that was the appeal of the show, that you did come into everybody's homes and become part of their family? Oh, I think so. I think you all embraced us. You might have identified with each of us or you knew you couldn't really be mean or you kind of forgave Gilligan the things he did wrong. He was kind of a buffoon, but you loved him anyway. I don't know if you could do that today. I don't know what we see today. But I think television gives you a chance to take a deep breath and you're away from life. Dawn Wells, it's been an absolute pleasure speaking with you. Thank you for all the good times you've given us on television and in theatre and and for your absolute radiance and beauty and vitality that's just been delightful. Well, thank you so much, and I hope our paths cross real soon.